Hello everyone, welcome to the University Technology Mara Medical Department. Here we have compiled videos of core physical examinations. Those examinations include cardiovascular examination, respiratory examination, abdominal examination, upper limb examination and lower limb examination. The upper limb examination. First, introduce yourself to the patient. Then, explain to the patient your intentions to examine the patient and what it entails. Ideally, all patients should be offered a chaperone. Before examining, remember to apply alcohol gel on both your hands. Take a step back and perform a general inspection of the patient. Then. Ask the patient to lift his hands up passively in the air with his palms facing the ceiling while his eyes remain closed. Look for a pronated drift. Then, ask the patient to turn his palms around. Next, ask the patient to rest his arms by his side and to go floppy. Take a closer look at both upper limbs. Look for any fasciculations. Now assess for tone. Start at the elbow joint, then move to the wrist joint, and then do circumduction movements. Do this on the opposite arm as well. Now, test for power. Start off with shoulder abduction. Next, test for shoulder adduction. Next, test for elbow extension. Compare both sides at the same time. Next, test for elbow flexion. Compare both sides as well. Also test for wrist extension and also wrist flexion. Test for finger abduction, finger flexion and finger adduction. Ask the patient to grip your fingers for finger flexion. Test for finger abduction using your own fingers. Lastly, test for thumb abduction. Now explain to the patient that you are going to test for reflexes. Again, adequately expose the upper limb to look for contractions. Test for reflexes at the biceps. Test for reflexes at the supinator. And lastly, test for reflexes at the triceps. Now, test for sensation. Again, adequately expose the upper limb. 
using a cotton wool test for light touch allow the patient to feel the cotton wool at the sternum as a reference point test for sensation in this case light touch at different dermatomes compare side by side Ask the patient if they can feel the sensation, if it feels the same on both sides, or if it feels different, and which side feels less. Do the same for pain prick. Again, test for dermatomal sensation, comparing both the right and the left upper limb. If there are any sensory deficits, test for glove distribution. Run the needle up the patient's upper limb and compare both sides. Now assess for vibration sense using a tuning fork. Apply the tuning fork onto the patient's sternum to allow them to feel what is normal. Then, apply the tuning fork at the most distal end joint in both upper limbs. If they can feel the vibration sense, then proprioception is normal. Now test for joint position sense. Show the patient his thumb. Show the patient what is up and what is down. Now get them to close their eyes and then repeat the movement and let them guess which is up and which is down. Do this on the opposite arm as well. In case there is loss of joint position sense, move up a joint. Now test for coordination. First, the finger nose test. Get the patient to do the finger nose test multiple times as fast as they can with their eyes open and ideally with their eyes closed after. Next, do rapid alternating movements to test for dysdiodocokinesia. Do this on both arms. Remember to thank the patient at the end of the examination and ensure that the patient is covered up and comfortable. Remember to complete your examination by saying that you would do a full examination of the lower limb and also cranial nerves.